I would like to welcome you all to the question paper discussion for the subject introduction to Python programming. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss uh, the important question from module one and module two. You can prepare very well in this fashion. Okay, this is the question paper which has happened in the year of uh, June, July 2023. And uh, the same similar kind of questions you can expect in the forthcoming examination. So kindly listen to the session properly so that you will understand how to answer it. I'll be giving the key also. The first question is demonstrate with example print input and string replication. You have to explain about the meaning of print, why print this function is required to display the output. Why input is required? Input is a in built in function, print is also a built in function. Input is a built in function which will accept the user to enter the, uh, the things. Okay. Like it prompt the user to enter the values. That is the importance of uh, uh, input. The string replication, that also we can uh, make use of that. A string, you know what is string and how to do the string replication. So if you write these two points, you'll be getting six marks. Develop a program to generate the Fibonacci series of length n read n number from the console. Weightage is six marks. So this is a simple program for developing the Fibonacci series. So you please follow up like initialization of variable, uh, then you need to use like uh, the display and use the if statements. Okay, uh, then you can inside you can put the one loop and uh, this logic you have to remember. So and give one example also three factorial. How you are getting uh, like a three, you know, three Fibonacci series of three, like a, a zero, then one uh, zero plus one is two. If I put like a four means how we can write zero one zero plus one is nothing but uh, two two plus one is uh three like that fibonacci series you are supposed to explain okay i think it's clear to everybody so moving on to the discussion of the third question okay like that you can prepare let me move on to the third question explain the elif for while break and continue statement in python with a suitable example weightage is eight marks very simple question fully with the theory part only so like if you write the syntax with example you'll be getting two marks what is for loop uh, then uh, while loop Elif, everything actually like a syntax with a suitable example will be getting two marks each. Break and continue statement is a loop control statement. So weightage is eight marks. This is the way how you are going to uh, write in the examination based upon that they are going to evaluate. Try to give some examples also. So that is regarding question number one. Moving on to question number two, there are three sub questions A, B, C. In the question number two, the first question is what are user defined function? How we pass the parameters with the help of uh, user defined function? Explain with a suitable example. Functions can be divided into in built-in function and user-defined function. Examples of user-defined functions are like a duff. You will be using a keyword called duff. Question number two. Uh, so user-defined functions are named named sequence if the instruction for programming for a particular task and the parameters using the duff you will be writing the function. For example, duff factorial factorial become a function. Then you can give the examples also. Factorial only you can make a like a simple example. Okay. So uh, using the duff, duff statement, you, you can create a user-defined function. Question number 2b, explain the local and the global scope with help of a, a variable for each and the weightage is 8 marks. So local and the global scope importance. So what is the importance of local scope? Okay, uh, so it is related to the function, okay, within the function and outside the function. Suppose if the variables are uh, defined in, within the function, that is called a local scope. If I go for like a variable which is outside the function, that is called a global scope. So you have to follow these particular instructions whenever you are writing the local and global scope. You can give some examples also. Third one is question number 2C. Develop a program to read the name and year of a birth of a person. Print whether the person is senior citizen or not. Simple, uh, you can use the if else statement. You can complete the particular thing. Uh, the uh, like uh, Use the if else statement. Okay. Uh, then uh, you, we require like input function to accept the input from the user. We require if else statement. Age you can define. Okay. Uh, then expect the output to mark. Any program you can make out, you will be getting like uh, 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 logic should be correct. So the weightage is seven marks. Uh, that is regarding the question number two. Moving on to question number three. Uh, what is a list? Explain up and insert remove method with suitable example. Very simple. Question number three. Uh, yeah, it is related to question from the list. So first you define one list in this fashion. For example, one, two, three. So appending. So if I want to have a like appending, I can perform with the of suitable example. So for example, spam, cat, dog, bat. If I like the spam dot append dot mouse, then what is going to happen? Mouse, mouse is going to be added here like that. So insert also you can add with a, a suitable example, even remove. If you want to remove a particular item, you can go for like a remove method. So eight, these are the questions which are coming from, uh, which are, which is happened uh, from the topic, uh, which is, which has taken from the topic list. You can prepare accordingly. 
Question number 3B, explain the following method with suitable example. Keys, values, items, and a dictionary. Okay, in dictionary. Uh, what is the key values? Okay, with help of suitable 3B. Question number 3B, keys. Example, you can give. Values also you can give the example. Then items also you can give the example. Easily, you will be getting uh, 12 marks. One example, it is already given. Uh, it is related to the dictionary. So, you have to uh, you have to write the items by using key and a value. Key value pairs. Color red, age 42. So, for example, 4V, spam, values, print V. The result will be 42. Then 4K in spam, keys, print K. That is color age. So, write the example in this fashion. Easily, you can get 12 marks. It is very simple. Okay. That is regarding question number 3. Uh, if you have any queries, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. I'll Remaining topic will be covered in the next uh, in the next session. If you are watching our channel first time, kindly subscribe. Uh, and if the video is useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Th thanks again.